Hello, everybody. Salt to see Ren, back here with another episode of the Infernal of the Sims 4 Infernal Legacy Challenge, and I am back here with Mika, who has is just leaving her brand new house room thing, whatever this is, because we were able to get enough money to actually build this. She's also got this really pretty little lotus light, and she's got some books that she can now read to entertain herself with. And she's about to go and throw away that trash pile that's over there with all the junk. So anyway... Her, um... Her house is actually starting to come together just a bit. Like, I wouldn't really call it a house yet. But, she has started construction on her home, and there's somebody here. Who is this? Uh, you are... a cram Elderberry. I do not know who you are. Hello, Akram Elderberry. Are you somebody from one of the worlds, or are you not? You don't look familiar. I don't think I've heard the name Elderberry before in this game. I'll just go ahead and follow Mika for now. But anyway, Mika is starting to get things together a little bit more. She's done some karaoke, she has been starting to try and find some romance. I don't know who she may be most interested in at all, if anyone. She's starting to get a house together. But, uh, you keep wanting to go and sleep. Why don't I actually send you fishing? Because you need more fishing skill for your job. So I'm going to send you to go fishing. It'll probably take you a while to do some fishing. It's a pretty monotonous thing, but her job, her part-time job, is fishing. And she caught a kitchen upgrade part. Okay, I don't know how useful that will be. But yeah, her job is in less than 24 hours, so she'll be going back to work. We had a few days of just fun. Hello! That is Nancy- no, Clara Bjergsen. What's this music? Oh, the flea market is in town. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and... Okay, kitchen upgrade part. I don't know what we could use it for. Waffle cone the llama corn talking toy. At Kindermaid, we surveyed 500 children about the perfect name for their toy unicorn. At least 75% of them suggested some kind of dessert-related word. Next time, we'll conduct a survey, survey after their snack time. Introducing Waffle cone the llama corn. So, I think... I think I can sell that. Get a bit of money. I could also sell the kitchen upgrade part, because I do not currently have a kitchen. And where's... Okay. I'm curious about the flea market. We can shop for trash or treasures. We could set up shop. Find snow globes and posters. Trade your stuff. I'm curious. I've never actually done... The Spice Festival was a new thing. The flea market is also kind of new. I'm curious. Let's see what they've got. Wait, we got like no money. Well, there's a lot of people we've met. Um, apparently we know someone named Orange Bailey Moon. Don't know who that is, but apparently we know them. Is that the toddler? Is that the child from before? Either way. We'll go ahead and just... Cancel the fishing shortly. Or. Okay, I don't need the notification wall. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the flea market. You wanna come? I wanna go anyway. This is the guy we were flirting with before, isn't it? If he is, that could be a good thing. Probably. If he shows up. Are we here? Here we are, the Waterside Warble. Oh, and there's Troy! So many people that I have probably never met before. But there's Salim Benali. So we can go and ask about his day. Let's. A Brighton Day is not here currently, but. And there's a celebrity over here. See, there's a lot of people. Um, 
brag about being the curry champion. I don't know. We can... Where's Brighton Day? I know it was around. There it is. Brighton Day. Oh, there's... We got a gummy guppy. We caught that. Let's go ahead and sell that. We want money. It's important to have money while we're here at the festival. It's not a festival, it's a market. <laughs> These guys are getting along pretty well, which is fun. It's nice to have friends, I think. Which is something I could probably use more of in my own life. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, there's a more dynamic picture here. There we go, that's probably a better. I, I want to get pictures for like a thumbnail at some point. They're gonna go ahead and be chatting. <laughs> oh, they're hugging? Oh, that's sweet. Hey. These two definitely get along. We're very quickly going to have another friend. We got an amazing catch, so we're confident. Okay, so while you're in the middle of doing that- Ooh, this is like the same thing we've got, except different. There's some chairs. Caduceus is back to being a vendor. Uh, who are you? Grace and Nancy. Oh, what? We're off to- don't order a drink, please. We're gonna take a look at whatever the heck is over here, see if there's anything interesting we might want. The fossils? Probably not. Fossilized other sounds weird. Um, hmm. So much of this, I don't know. Hmm. There's not really anything here that I'm particularly interested in. Um, let's see. Maybe these. The lo Loti Lotus Lanterns. They're the only thing I can think we might want. Let's see, Halaini is chatting with Marcus Flex, Ishan Ragavan. I think these are all the same people who were at the festival before. Alright, we've bought the Loti Lotus Lantern. So now we're done. We don't need to do anything else here, I don't think. Are we off to go and talk about the cloudy weather with somebody? Just some completely random person who is now gone. Uh, where is she? Okay, uh... Joffrey Landgrab is a vendor here. Are you... You're also a vendor. Okay. What happened to Salim? Is he still around or did he leave? He went to sleep on the couch indoors. Well, oh! Oh, there's a karaoke thing over here. Why don't we go to karaoke with. Let's see, house. Oh, we could do pop. Jazz. I'm curious. I think. Is this like a karaoke thing? Let's try it. Uh, let's sing a solo Weekender. I'm curious. I've never tried this before. I'm very curious. I've never done anything in this in most of these worlds before. Typically when I play The Sims, I play characters too similar to myself, which is very introverted, stays indoors like like 95% of the time. What's name? Oh wow, your voice is. Oh, 
Your voice! Whoa! Jim Whipsy. Oh my gosh! Mika, your voice! Wonka Kuni Pablas. Oh. I am loving her voice. Whoa. Holy crap! I am blown away right now. So in the meantime, there is Su Supriya Delgato fell asleep, and uh, Nalani Mahiai is walking away. I guess we're done with the singing. <laughs> so let's tell an engaging story to Salim. Where are you going? Salim is here. He was asleep a second ago, but we can chat. Okay. Let's chat with, let's chat with Salim. And I wonder, it does say our fame will increase slowly. Can we... We're technically in the spotlight, but I don't think our fame is increasing. We haven't really been doing anything that's... These two do get along. I do like that. I feel like with Mika, I'm starting to branch out more when I'm playing The Sims. And Selene, so far, she seems to get along with quite a lot, but she also gets along well with Dirk Dreamer. You're gonna mold clay. You thought that Salim is creative. I guess after learning this, like, oh well, I got some clay. Maybe we can like fashion into something. I've never. I don't know what clay can be used for besides. Let's see, what can you turn the clay into? Um. Is it, he's kind of watching, giving her some tips probably on how to best mold the clay. Can we turn this clay into Mika? Aflin Wadida. Oh, that <laughs> is. See, she's inspired from molding the clay. She's making the new friend. Urizap. She's a karaoke killer. She did so well. Yeah. It doesn't blame. I don't blame her for being super confident from that. Like that was incredible. Bomba <laughs> day. We reached comedy level two. Okay. Uh -huh. I guess we're just making weird jokes now. But either way, it's pretty nice to like. Let's see. The last time we met him, we were trying to flirt. So let's try and. Let's try and flirt again, I think. Just kind of try. See if it works. I guess molding the clay didn't do anything. Right. So. It could be compliment his appearance, probably. Oh! All right, we've just become good friends. And there we go. We've got a little bit of uh, got a little bit of a romance going up there, but we're also getting pretty hungry. The flea market is still going for another hour, so but after that we should probably head home. Oh, he's complimenting us now. Suggestive conversation. Interesting. So there's definitely something going on here between these two. They're... Oh, amorous exchange. This is... Interesting. Okay. I wonder if there's like an option to like tell like... Share secret or reveal deep secret. We could tell him that we are tieflings. Let's share a secret. 
a sure secret and ah, sure secret and class clatoy is bergeruk ingo oh no nah. Oh, they're embracing. Okay, I do think these two are cute together. We get to first kid already. First kiss already. Uh, what else can we do? Can't start a day in the middle of a social event. Oh, nope. Holding hands did not work. Okay. Uh, why don't you- can you apologize for what just happened? Dark, 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 eat dark, dark, eh? Okay, I guess we're hopefully able to save that from happening. Okay, maybe like, we're, maybe we're rushing into it a little too fast. Can we apologize for... A friendly... Is there a thing to apologize? There used to be. I don't know if this mod, like, does anything to interfere with it. But, um... Let's instead reveal a deep secret, I suppose. It doesn't necessarily have to go further than... So we're telling him that we're a tiefling. We'll try and... There we go. Yeah, let's get some chips. Someone new has taken over. I have no idea who you are. Quentin Tongle. Well, Quentin Tongle, we would like some chips. Please? Okay, we got some chips. Good. And we should probably head home after we're done eating. So I'll let you finish. Are you not eating? Eat the chips. And after that, I'm gonna have you head home. You're just walking away regardless. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave the chips there to rot. You're pretty inspired at least. And your, your conversation went pretty well, anyway. There is some romantic interest there. They both sort of reciprocated, but then it got a little awkward. Things got a little too deep too quickly. Either way, why don't you go ahead and sleep. Go ahead, sweetie. You go ahead and sleep. Oh, we became friends... Thank you, Victor. We become friends with Victor. Or, we're not friends with Victor. He saw, heard that we became friends with Salim, so. And let's go ahead and shower like three times, maybe. Because we are not doing so good there. We can fertilize and then. We can have a quick meal of granola. So I'll go ahead and let her speed through all of this. Uh, I just, I am thinking she did hit, she did hit off romantic interactions pretty much right away with Selim. Like, yeah, things got a little awkward a little too quickly, but it still happened. It still worked. Ooh, all right. And you're just shouting some. A great party going on down at the nightclub. Well, I think that right now... Salim, I really appreciate it. And I think she... Would she want to go? She does have work in the morning. But this... Mika's more outgoing. I think she would go ahead and... Yeah. I think she'll go ahead and hang out. She won't deny the opportunity to... Go out and party. The Narwhal Arms. So, let's talk about the party. Why not? We can do some gossip. And then... 
You can show off some moves. Or you can dance battle somebody. I don't know. Troy's gonna be here. Troy is here, apparently. Oh. Yo, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Woohoo in bush? What? Uh, guys? <laughs> guys? Uh, uh, okay, they're not doing anything. So let's just go and dance. Why not? Go inside and dance. You are a dance machine. You will really enjoy this. I know for a fact. Let's see. You can watch this thing, but... Or I guess dancing by this might be a little better for you, I think. But her being a dance machine... Yeah? Awesome. Okay. Let's see. I wonder... You can show off the arm charm. Why not? All right, that's fun. You do want to hug someone. And, oh, there's Ford, apparently. <laughs> well. Okay, Salim is still here. But we are... We're showing off some moves again. She is just enjoying herself. Did everyone just clear the floor for us? Oh, wow. Wow, she is just... She is just going at it. Look at her, she is just so happy to be here. She, this is... this is her scene. Yeah, that was a little creepy, but okay. But yeah, this is her scene. This is exactly... Yeah. Let's go ahead and just let her do her thing. You keep dancing, sweetie. You just have a blast. Oh, and now you're gonna go and eat some granola that- Did somebody leave out some granola? I guess that the bartender's vampire. Dia Garden Keepers is here. And then there's Clara Bjergsen. So I don't recognize like half of the people here. I do wonder. Oh, we're chatting with Candy now. Flesh? Pando. Hey, Let's see, at parties we can do that one thing that's, um... What is it, what is it called, what is it called? It says... Oh, here. Dance machine. Uh, dance machines, uh, we can... The party time interaction. Why don't we do dance battle against candy? That would be fun. That could be fun. Let's go do a dance battle. Everyone's clearing the dance floor again. For our dance battle, perhaps? So let's go ahead and... You're here. Okay. Where is she? She is all the way out there. Come on, let's do this dance battle. Here we go. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> he seems happy for us. He has red eyes? He's got red eyes, okay. 
glowing red eyes, but we're at dance level two now. Oh, whoa, she's got some moves too. What the? Wow, okay. Well. Disco nap? What's party time interaction? Can we do the party time interaction? Why not watch? Oh, you actually do need to get some sleep soon, though. So you're, Salim is a- Troy has learned that Salim is a blogger at Walrus Books. Okay, Troy is getting along with Salim, it seems. There's this one alien I keep seeing everywhere. Apparently we're going to be chatting with Joaquin- with Joaquin and with Ford shortly. Is that the party time interaction? That little, uh, thing that pops up over people's heads? <laughs> so I guess we'll meet Ford. <laughs> we acquired the DJ mixing skill? Oh, we're not even DJing. Okay. We've got work in like two hours, so we should probably... Oh, we're flirty, what? We're flirty and Ford is flirty. Why? Because of, apparently, the DJ. But we're also getting pretty hyped. We're the last one to be hyped, apparently. So what are we chatting with Ford about, I wonder? We're all flirty. <laughs> well... Yeah, work starts in about an hour. You can take a disco nap, yeah? So, once you're done chatting, we're discussing local fishing spots with Ford, apparently. <laughs> Which doesn't surprise me. Anyway, let's go take a nap. We'll take a disco nap. And then I think... Are we just stuck in... We're trapped by social convention! Or whatever the phrase is. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna have to cancel dancing, I think. You go ahead and get some rest. Because your work is in... Ah, Mika is a bit occupied right now. Should they still go to work? We could go to work, we could miss work, or take PTO. I don't know what PTO means, honestly. Um... I think... I feel like Mika might miss work. Or what does PTO... I don't... I wonder what PTO means? Um, paid time off! PTO, paid time off. Okay, we... We owe $297 to the mailbox before our utilities are shut off one by one. Well... We have to start getting some money, don't we? We'll just go ahead and let Mika sleep, and I think next episode we'll start trying to do a little bit more money-making. Hopefully everything will go alright. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here, just let Mika sleep for a while. If you guys enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts, and I will see you guys next episode. Stay safe out there, friends.